Hey guys, how's everyone? This is Naman and I'm back with another sneaker review. So in today's video, I will be talking about the newest addition in Puma's iconic RS range of sneakers, which is Puma RS Track in the color combination of grey and matte rose. Alright, so in today's video, I will be talking about these sneakers in detail. We will be talking about color combination, materials, sizing and fitting, comfort, where did I buy these sneakers from, how much I paid for them, and my general review about these sneakers, whether you should buy them or not. Make sure to watch the video till the end. If you are watching one of my videos for the first time on this channel, we mainly talk about sneakers and a little bit about streetwear as well. If you like today's video, do consider subscribing the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle. And without wasting any more time, let's quickly start with the video. Now, before I get into the details of the sneaker, first I want to talk about Puma RS. Puma RS, so RS basically stands for running system. This is the technology Puma used to use in their running shoes back in the day. And though they have improved their running technology in the current running shoes, Puma RS still is used in the lifestyle range of sneakers and it is one of the best technologies out there which provides comfort to your feet. I am a big fan of Puma RS. I have got two Puma RSXs in my collection. One is the re-mentioned the OG and the RSX3 one as well. Now getting into the details of the sneaker, starting with the color combination and materials. The primary color on the sneaker as we can see is grey which we can actually see in two different shades of grey. Starting with the first one is a light grey colour which has been used primarily for the tip of the sneaker which is made with very good soft suede material. The same light grey soft suede material we can see towards the mid panel and a little bit towards the back tab as well. The second colour is a little darker shade of grey which we can see under the soft Gray, light grey suede material. This one is not that soft, this is a little rugged suede material they have used and the same rugged dark grey suede material has been used for the ice day as well. The same light grey colour has been used for the mesh used on the back of the sneaker, mid panel and a little bit towards the back as well. They have also used the same light grey colour for the midsole or I would say the majority part of the midsole. Now coming to the second colour which we can see as an accent colour on the sneaker is this matte rose color which looks like your brick red color. The brick red color has majorly been used towards the back of the sneaker. This one is also made with very good quality suede material. The same suede material which we can see for the light grey color used on the tip of the sneaker. The same matte rose or this brick red color has been used for the back tab and for the sock liner as well. We can also see the same matte rose color on the outsole wherein we can see a little darker shade of grey and the combination of this matte rose color and I personally think the outsole looks really nice also the fact that they use this darker shade of grey which almost looks like black is a really good idea doing this the sneakers would not look that dirty which I think is essential for such sneakers because as I mentioned the sneaker is actually meant to be used in a little rugged way one thing that I really liked about in terms of color of the sneaker is specifically this color scheme. Though they have used grey color primary on the sneaker but they have used it in two or three different materials which I think was a really good idea. And honestly I really liked this color scheme of the entire sneaker. It's a very neutral color scheme which I personally like a lot. But at the same time this matte rose or this brick red color that they have used on the sneaker gives it a little bit of edge. It is not going off from the color scheme of the sneaker but at the same time it is shining a little bit which I like a lot. One color that I forgot to talk about is the green color they have used for the flat laces and the pull tag on the tongue of the sneaker. I think this was a really good touch and I'm glad that they did not go with a white colored lace. I think this cream color lace looks better and goes really well with the entire color scheme of the sneaker. Now coming to the next part of today's video which is going to be sizing, fitting and comfort and while you see how these sneakers look on feet, let me first talk about sizing. So I am a UK 9.5 or a US 10 true to size in Puma but unfortunately I could not find them in my true to size so I went for UK 10 which I've actually done many times in the past because it is hard to get 0.5 sizes in India. So in terms of UK 10, I feel that these sneakers fit me really well. Though I feel that going through to size is the best option. So in case if you can find your true to size, definitely go for your true size. Just in case, 
if you are between sizes like me and you're not able to find your true size i would recommend going half a size up because in Puma sneakers, it is generally better to go half size up than going half size down. And in terms of fitting as well, these sneakers fit really well. They have a lot of room in the toe area. And in fact, Puma RS sneakers are known for their fit. The sneakers are broad. They have ample amount of space in the toe area and they feel really good on feet. And if I talk about comfort, as I mentioned earlier, these sneakers have got the RS technology from Puma, which is Puma running system technology. This is one of the best technologies out there and provides a lot of comfort to your feet. These are one of the best daily beaters you can find out there. One thing that I really like about the sneaker is the chunky midsole. The entire midsole has a lot of cushioning into it. Apart from the midsole, the insoles have got that cushion pad in it which provides really good comfort to your feet. The sock liner is not heavily padded but it is lightly padded so it feels good towards your ankle as well. So overall in terms of comfort, these sneakers are absolutely amazing. Now talking about pricing, so they normally retail for about 11 to 12,000 rupees here in India. This particular model retails for 12,000 rupees. I bought them from Mintra. Luckily, I found them at a really good price. I ended up getting them for about 7,500 rupees, which I personally think is a really good price for these sneakers. If you want, you can definitely check these sneakers out as they're available on multiple platforms in multiple colors and multiple sizes. I've also left the links for the sneakers down in the description from various platforms. And trust me, if I talk about pricing, if you can find these sneakers for anywhere about seven to 8,000 rupees, it is a really good deal. Because as I mentioned, these sneakers not only look good, they feel good on your feet as well. They provide comfort, they have room in the toe area, and thus I believe this is one of the best daily wear sneakers out there in the market. Also, one thing that I really like about Puma RS sneakers is that they're very durable. I've been wearing my Puma RS sneakers almost on a daily basis for almost three years now, and they are intact. They still feel as good as they did when I initially got them, which I think is a really good thing. So overall, excellent shoe. Till the time you don't try the silhouette, you won't understand how good Puma RS sneakers are. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to make a quick review video. If you liked today's video, do the thumbs up button down there. Do let me know in the comment section what you think about Puma RS sneakers in general. Have you tried one or not? If you guys are new here, do subscribe to the channel. If you want to see my review on other Puma sneakers, I leave the link for the playlist down in the description. Do check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.